Hello everyone and welcome. This is Robert Pearson coming to you guys tonight from the John and Lynette Zubas Gymnasium in Cherry, Minnesota, home of the Cherry Tigers, where tonight your Tigers take on the Superior Spartans from Superior, Wisconsin in a border battle of high school basketball. Superior comes in tonight with a record of 4-1. and one. Some of their most recent games are they beat Hayward, Wisconsin, 72-38, Everest, 64-59, and they played Hibbing, Minnesota, where they won 82 to 48. They start two seniors, three sophomores, so a fairly young team. Their stud would be a uh, Trey Sanagar, number two, six foot two senior, who's a Wisconsin Superior commit. He'll be guarded tonight by Isaiah Asama. Number 23, Brandon Aker for Superior, a six foot three senior. And they've got Lennon and Rig. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing these names for the Superior fans watching tonight. Number three, a six foot sophomore. And number five, another six foot three sophomore, Drew Isif, followed by number 24, a six foot five sophomore, Kelvin Anderson. Cherry comes in today as the number one ranked Class A team in the state of Minnesota at a record of five and oh. Being led by Senior guard Isaac Asima, the University of Minnesota Gopher commit. Isaac comes in tonight averaging 21 points, 7.8 rebounds, 5.6 assists per game, and 2.8 steals. Also leading the team in blocks at 1.6. Noah Sundquist, the junior guard, comes in averaging 19.6 points per game, followed up by the freshman Isaiah Asma at 16.2 points per game. Cherry's more recent win coming against Southridge in a 105-36, a high scoring affair in Southridge. Also Cherry beat Holy Family, the number two ranked 2A team in the state of Minnesota in Saturday's breakdown tip-off classic at Hopkins High School. So we've got 11.35 left till tip off. We're gonna enjoy some music from the high school band. We'll have the playing of the national anthem and the announcing of the starting lineups. This is Robert Pearson with Cherry Tigers Boys Basketball.
Good evening. At this time, we ask you to stand and face the play and remove your hats as a cherry pet band under the direction of Mrs. Freitas plays us in the national. Get ready for some Cherry basketball. Looks to be a tough test for the Cherry Tigers, which is good coming against the Down South Ridge team this year. And after having played Holy Family, Cherry's going to need to have a couple of tough contests to make sure that they're staying sharp on their run to state. Superior wins the tip. They're going to control the ball. That's Isaiah Asama guarding number two for Superior, Trey Sanagar. He'll swing it out to number three, the back out to number 24, guarded by Isaac Asima. Number five on the cut, tries for the layup, no good. Rebound, loose ball goes number 23 for Superior. Pump fake gets Carson Brown in the air, and he lays it in. Superior with the 2-0 lead. Isaac with the ball on the drive, kicks it out to the freshman number 10. Back out to Carson Brown. Carson with the cross court pass to number three, Isaac Asima. Isaac almost lost his balance, gathers it back up. 
Jerry just trying to create a good look. Now Carson Brown with the deep three. No good. Rebound. Rebound went to number five, but he couldn't stop his momentum from carrying him out of bounds. So it's going to be Cherry Ball on their baseline. 17-01 remaining. Cherry had a hard time finding a good look inside as Superiors comes out in a 1-2-2. Two, two. Carson swings it out to Noah Sunquist, no out to the freshman. And they get it inside to Carson Brown. Now Isaiah Osma for three, no good off the side of the rim. Rebound goes to Noah Sunquist. Cherry still swinging the ball around. Now Noah Osma for three. That one's in and out, no good. Rebound goes to Noah Sunquist and lays it in. Now number two, Trey Sanagar with the ball. Nice job by Carson Brown on the steal. Carson just picked that ball from number number 23, Brandon Aker. That's the six foot three senior for Superior. That ball was out of bounds last touch by Superior, so cheery ball. Tie ball game with 16 minutes remaining in the first half. Isaac Asima here with a nice cut. He'll swing it out to Isaac Asima. Isaac for three. Misses everything but the backboard. Rebound goes to number 24 for Superior. Trey Sanagar with the ball now. Good first step by Sanagar. Got good penetration. Nice rebound on the missed shot there by Isaac Asma. Isaac looks to push. They call a travel on the freshman. Looks like he just kind of jump stopped and took a little bit of a shuffle step there, so a turnover by number 10, Isaiah Osma. 15-19 here in the first half, tie ball game two to two. He'll switch that up, Trey Sanagar ends up with Noah Osma. He'll swing it out to number three. He'll miss the three point rebound, goes to 23 for Cherry Carson Brown. Now Isaiah with another three-point attempt. That one's no good off the mark. Noah Sunquist high points the rebound and lays it in. Noah Sunquist doing the early work for Cherry right now. Cherry with the 4-2 lead, 14-40 remaining here in the first half. Sandegar with the ball guarded by number 10. He's going to drive and dish number 24. That shot's off the mark. Foul on the play. They're going to call a foul. That's going to be a loose ball foul on number five, Noah Osama, the sophomore. His first team's first. First, excuse me. 14 34, Cherry with the early 4 2 lead. All right. Spartans take advantage of a size mismatch on the interiors. Number 24 posts up number 10. Carson Brown, nice footwork on the inside as he lays it in. Six to four, Tiger lead, Sanagar with the ball. He's gonna drive, kick it out to 24. Good ball movement by a superior. Now Sanagar with the three point, that shot's off the mark, no good. Scramble for the loose ball goes to Carson Brown, number 23 on the rebound. He's going to go all the way, coast to coast. No good, in and out. Rebound goes to Sanagar. 13-45 remaining. Cherry with a 6-4 lead. Trey Sanagar from Superior, the senior starting guard. The UW Superior commit. Now number 23 with the ball guarded by Noah Asima. Trying to get it into the hands of number two here, Sanagar. Good pressure defense by 10, forces him to get rid of it. Now number 23 is going to take Isaac down inside. That ball is going to be out of bounds off number 24 for Superior. So turnover, Cherry Ball and Superior baseline. 13-18 remaining, Cherry with a 6-4 lead.
Nice take by number 10. He's going to get that to go in. Off balance, hits the floor hard, but pops up and gets ready to play some defense. They'll run the switch. So Isaiah ends up on number 24 for Superior. Now number two, Sanagar guarded by number three, Isaac Osma as the seniors go at it. Number five for Superior, takes the shot, no good. Scramble for the loose ball, rebound. That's gonna end up in the hands of number 23. And they're gonna call a charge on the play as Isaac Osma sacrifices the body. Number 23 falls into him, a little out of control from Superior. Turnover by the Spartans. Tigers lead 8-4, 12-25 remaining. Their ball in the Superior baseline. Kirsten swings it out to Isaiah. Isaiah with the long cross court pass to Noah Sundquist. Noah with a quick decision into number three, Isaac Osmo. Isaac lays that in. Good, fast decision making by Noah Sundquist leads to a little bunny there from number three, Isaac. And it's a 10-4 cherry lead with 12 minutes remaining in the first half. Now Sanagar is going to take the three. That's no good, too strong off the rim. Long rebound goes to Isaiah Awesome. And now Isaiah, the freshman, pushing the pace. He'll kick it out short corner number three. Isaac Awesome and the senior puts it in. That's going to lead to a timeout for the Superior Spartans head coach as he wants a full timeout. With 11.43 remaining, Cherry jumps out to the 13-4 lead. Little tight offensively from both sides at the start of the game, but Cherry contesting every shot, grabbing, not giving Superior a chance, a second chance on their uh, offensive rebounds. Pushes the pace and starts making shots there. So Cherry jumps out to the 13-4 lead. Some balanced scoring here by the Cherry Tigers. Noah Sundquist with four, Isaiah Asima with two, Carson Brown with two. And Isaac Asima with five. For Superior, number 23 has two, number 24 has two. So that'll be Brandon Aker with two, and number 24, Kelvin Anderson with two. Foul count is one to one. 11.43 remaining, it's going to be the Superior Spartans ball at the Cherry Baseline out of the timeout. They run a switch, Carson Brown ends up on Sanagar. Now the good ball movement swings it around to their sharpshooter. That ball's in and out, no good. Rebound freshman Isaiah Asma. He'll bring it up, give it to his cousin Isaac. Isaac on a tough stop, but they're gonna call a travel on that. No idea why there wasn't a foul and he called the travel instead. Coach Christensen wants to know where the travel was too as the senior's feet didn't even move. So Sanagar gives it up to Anderson. Back up to Sanagar. Sanagar for three. That one's off the mark. Rebound goes to Noah Sundquist. Good, tough rebound over two Spartans. Noah finds it to Isaac. Isaac out to Isaiah. Isaiah long pass to Sonny. Sonny inside to Noah Asma. Noah with the tough two. 15-4 lead. Cherries up. 10-45 remaining here in the first half. Sanagar with the ball. Senegar swings it out, and they're going to call a foul on that as they get. Wow. Wow. Well, they're not going to let him battle underneath as that referee calls the second foul of the game for Cherry on Noah Osma. That's his second team second with 10.32 remaining. Andrew Staples is going to check in for him. Now number 24, Anderson posting up the freshman. They'll swing it out to number 15. Number 15 takes a three. That finds the bottom of the net. As Superior finally gets back on a run here. They end their scoring drought. It's 15-7, Cherry lead. Isaac Osma with the ball. 
Good ball movement by Cherry. Try to swing it inside. Wow. They're going to say that ball was out of bounds. Last touch by Andrew Staples as the referee crew just can't seem to get it together. 10.09 remaining, Cherry leading 15 to seven. Sanagar on the hard take. That's going to be no good on the layup. Rebound goes to Andrew Staples, the senior. Cherry pushing. Now Isaiah Asma with the tough two. Goes through a couple of Spartans and gets it to drop. Cherry back up to 10 in front. 17, 7, 9, 40 remaining in the first half with Sanagar with the ball. Sanagar back with the ball guarded by the freshman. He's going to try to take it. He'll swing it out to number five. Number five with the hard take gets stopped. He'll kick it out to number 15. Number 15, the sharpshooter from Superior drops it down. 17-10, Cherry Lee, 9-20 remaining. Carson Brown inside finds Andrew Staples. Andrew had it underneath the basket without any help. Ball gets poked away from Noah Sundquist, creating a cherry turnover there. Wow. Now they're not even going to let them fight underneath for position as the same ref that called Noah Asma for the foul calls Isaac Asma for the foul. I guess they don't teach post defense to the referees in ref school. 8.48 remaining, Cherry lead 17-10. That's the first foul on Isaiah Asma, team's third. Karsten Brown has a seat. Checking in will be Landon Rutzelainen. Anderson lost his footing. Isaiah Asma there to pick off the pass. Cherry swings it around. They're going to find Landon Rutzelein in there in the corner for three. That ball's no good. Rebound goes to Kelvin Anderson. 8.25 remaining. Cherry leading 17-10 here in the first half. Sanagar with the ball. Sanagar with a hard take. Not going to drop. Gets his own rebound, though. He'll kick it out to number five. 17-12. Coach Christensen calls a timeout, wants to stop the run for there for Superior and get his team calmed down a little bit. I suppose this is a good time as any to remind all the viewers at home that my views and opinions are that of my own and I am in no way associated with the Independent School District of 2142 or the Cherry School. like to thank those of you from watching at home who are watching if you haven't liked the broadcast and you're enjoying the broadcast please hit that like button if you haven't subscribed to the boys YouTube page head on over and hit that subscribe button as well well out of the timeout 803 remaining 1712 cherry leads Cherry had an 11 point lead. Superiors cut it down to five with eight minutes remaining here in the first half. Isaac Osma with the ball. Andrew will get it back to Isaac. Isaac out to Landon Rootsline, and Landon Rootsline gets it into Isaiah. Isaiah back out to Isaac. Isaac thought about a long three, not going to do it. He'll swing it out to Isaiah. Isaiah with a nice cut and pass to Noah Sundquist. Noah Sundquist drops in a tough three shot. 20 to 12 now, Cherry leads, 725 remaining here in the first half. Anderson with the ball, he'll give it up to Sanagar, guarded by Isaiah Asima. They'll run a switch, Landon Rutzelin and ends up on him. Now Anderson with the ball. Sanagar's calling for it, back guarded by Landon. Senegar tried the three after the step back. No, too strong, no good off the back of the rim. 
Anderson gets the ball on the rebound. Not Anderson, excuse me, that'll be Aker. Gets the ball on the tough rebound, goes up and over the freshman Isaiah Asma, and it's 20 to 14, 6.55 remaining in the first half. Now Landon Rootsliner for three, that's gonna be no good. Fight for the rebound. Not sure who they're gonna call it off of yet. Oh, it's going to be Cherry Ball on the baseline. Having a seat for Cherry is going to be Andrew Stables and Landon Rootsline. And checking back in will be Noah Osman and Carson Brown. 6.48 remaining. Cherry with a 2014 lead. Cherry's ball under their own basket. Now Isaac on the drive. Hits a cutting. Noah Sunquist. Noah tries to go in for two. And that looked like a little bit of a makeup call as I'm not even sure 23 traveled on that, but that ref looked like he missed a play where 23 ran right into Noah Sunquist inadvertently and knocked over Sonny. So a little bit of a makeup call on their end of the floor. That'll be a turnover for the Spartans. Cherry ball in front of their bench. Isaac Osimo with it now with 6.30 remaining. Cherry leads 2014. Good try and a pass there, but he gets picked off by the Spartans on the attempt to Noah Sunquist. Scramble for that loose ball goes to Isaac Asima. Now Carson Brown with it. He'll find Isaac Asima with it. They're going to call a jump ball. Very quick call on the jump ball as it almost feels like the officials are starting to exert a little too much control over the game. Checking in for Superior will be number 12. Having a seat will be number 15. It's going to be Cherry's ball after that jump ball call on their baseline. Cherry leading 2014, 602 remaining here in the first half. It is Spartan basketball. Well, now they're going to say it's Spartan basketball. Oof. You'd think it was the first game of the year and not the sixth. Now Sanagar with the ball from the Spartans, bringing it up guarded by Isaiah Asima. Nice run play, but good defense by Carson Brown. That rebound goes to Isaac Asima. Now Isaac running the floor hard, tries to go up for it. He's not going to get the foul call, but he gets his own rebound and puts it in. 22 to 14. Coach Christensen visibly upset over the lack of calls that Cherry seems to be getting. Number 23 with the wide open three, he's gonna bury that. And they're gonna get the foul call on that by number 23, Carson Brown. They're gonna call him on a charge. Uh, it's his first team's fourth with 5.08 remaining. Cherry leads 22 17 here in the first half. Oof. Wow. They're going to call that on Isaiah Asma, but apparently they must have missed the elbow that number two threw into Isaiah on the drive. That's his second team fifth. Right now the foul count five to one in favor of Superior Spartans. Nice play by Noah Sunquist, who just strips the ball away and hammers it down. Wonderful athletic play by the junior. 24-17, Cherry leads. 4.28 remaining in the first half. 
Sanagar with the deep three, no good. That rebound out of bounds, last touch by Noah Asima of Cherry, so it's gonna be superior ball here on their baseline. 4-17 remaining, Cherry leading 24-17. Nice job by contesting that by Noah Asma, and that ball is going to be out of bounds. Turnover here by the Superior Spartans. Cherry ball on the Superior baseline. Noah inbound the ball to his brother Isaac. Isaac uses the pass to push up to Noah Sunquist. Back out to Isaac Asma. Now Isaac on the drive with a little bit of a floater gets the friendly roll. 26-17. Cherry brings it back up to nine-point lead. Sanagar with the ball guarded by Isaiah. They'll run the switch. They try to put Isaiah back down. He'll swing it out to number 24, Anderson. Anderson for three, and that's good. Noah Sundquist. Nice job on attacking the closeout. Isaac, Isaiah Asima gets that one to drop on the nice pass from a cutting Noah Sundquist. 28-20 here with 3.27 remaining in the first half. Sanagar with the ball guarded by Isaiah Asima. He'll swing it around to number three. Number three finds 23 backy here. They'll get it inside the number five. Trying to get Sanagar again. Sanagar on the switch has ended up guarded by Isaac Asima. Back out to 23. Quick try at the three. No good. Rebound. Loose ball goes to Isaac Asima. Ends up with it. He'll look to push. Goes up to Noah Sundquist. Noah Sundquist goes into a couple of Spartans. They're going to call a foul on the floor. That foul is going to be on number two for the Spartans. That's Trey Sanagar. That's going to be his first team second. Checking in for Cherry will be Andrew Staples for Noah Osma with 3-0-4 remaining. Cherry leads 28-20 here in the first half. Chio reset, get the ball inside to Isaac. Isaac fades away and hits the tough two. Oh, Cherry stretching that lead back out to double digits as it's 30 to 20 with 240 remaining here in the first half. Trey Sanagar having taken a seat on that last possession, checking back in, it would be number 15. Fight for the loose ball, they're gonna call a foul on that. That loose ball foul on the rebound is going to go on number 23 for the Spartans, Brandon Aker. That's going to be his second team's third. 2.32 remaining in the first half. Cherry leading 30-20. to 20. Cherry ball on the superior baseline. Cherry again using the pass. Hits a open Carson Brown. Scramble for the loose ball. Carson on the floor to get it. Cherry somehow comes up with it. Now Isaac Osma with the jump pass to Noah Sundquist. Noah inside to Carson. Carson with the footwork up and under, no good. Scramble for the loose ball. That's going to end up with Sanagar for Superior. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Cherry leads 30-20 over the Superior Spartans. Sanagar with the ball guarded by Isaac Osma. He's going to take it in. That ball's no good. Long rebound, they're gonna call a foul on the play. That foul's gonna be on Noah Sundquist. That's gonna be team sixth, his first. Minute 49 remaining in the first half. Cherry with the 10 point lead, 30-20 superior ball on their baseline under the bucket. Having a seat will be number 10, Isaiah Asima for Cherry. Checking in will be Landon Rootsland and as Coach Christensen wants to keep him from getting his third foul here with a minute 45 remaining in the first half. Now Sanagar swings it out to Anderson. Anderson guarded by Noah Sundquist. He's going to try to get up. They're going to call the foul on Andrew Staples on the help defense on that. Andrew rotated over, got too much of the body. That's going to put Kelvin Anderson on the line shooting two. That's his first team's seventh with a minute 39 remaining. Anderson on the line shooting two. Anderson's first free throw attempt misses everything. Hey, 
Anderson's second free throw does find the bottom of the net. So 30 to 21. And now Superior is going to extend out their defense. Cherry broke it down pretty well. Isaac Osma with the floater and the shooter's touch. He drops it in and Cherry back up to the 11 point lead matching their largest lead of the night, 32-21 with a minute 15 here remaining in the first half. Senegar guarded by Carson Brown. Carson swings it up to Anderson guarded by Andrew Staples. He's gonna try the two from the free throw line. That's no good, rebound to Carson Brown. Carson now pushing, gets it up to Isaac. Isaac back with the ball inside. Nice pass to Andrew Stables. Andrew hits Carson Brown from the wing. Carson with the three. 35-21. Cherry's got their largest lead of the night with 40 seconds remaining here in the first half. Anderson inside to number five, guarded by Andrew Staples. He'll kick it out to number three, guarded by Noah Sundquist. Noah applying some really solid pressure. Cherry doing a great job here in their man-to-man -man defense. Sanagar with the ball. Two seconds remaining. That shot's no good. Good defensive possession by Cherry. Turn around by Isaac Osma at the buzzer. No good. So Terry used some great defense turning into offense and some good possessions. And at the end of the first half, Cherry with a 14 point lead, 35 to 21 over the Superior Spartans. Well, we got a 10 minute halftime break and we'll be back with the second half after this. This is Robert Pearson with Cherry Boys Basketball.
Well, everyone, welcome back. With three minutes remaining in your halftime break, Cherry leading 35 to 21. Cherry's had some balanced scoring, led by senior guard Isaac Osama, who's got 13. Noah Sunquist with nine. Carson Brown with five. And Isaiah Asima's got eight. For the Superior Spartans, they're led right now by number 24, Kelvin Anderson with six. Number 15. And number 15 for Superior, that's Kyle Johnson. He's got six as well. Pretty physical game on both ends of the floor. Right now, Cherry's pressure defense and ability to keep Superior off the boards has been the difference. Once again, we'd like to thank those of you from watching at home who are tuning in. If you haven't hit that like button yet, please do so. If you haven't subscribed to the boys page, head on over to the boys YouTube page and hit that subscribe button as well. Foul trouble of note will be Noah Asma with two and Isaiah Asma also has two. Those are the only Tigers that have more than one foul right now. Isaiah Asima doing a good job on number two for the Superior Spartans, Trey Sanigar. The freshman has held the young man to just one, well, no points and one foul so far tonight. He is a Wisconsin, University of Wisconsin Superior commit and a defense senior. Coming out of the halftime break, it's going to be Cherry Ball. <laughs> Isaac Osmo finds his cousin Isaiah. Isaac out to Noah. Noah to Carson Brown. Now Carson to Isaac. Isaac hits it out to Isaiah Asma. Isaiah on the drive behind Carson Brown again. Carson goes inside, tries the floater, no good, too strong. Rebound goes to Noah. Noah Asma is going to get fouled on the put up back attempt. The young sophomore showing up his strength as he draws the foul on the attempt. That foul was going to be on 24, Kelvin Anderson. That's his first team's first of the half, putting Noah Asma on the line shooting too. And Noah's first free throw attempt too strong, no good. Noah's got two points so far tonight. Seventeen thirty-six here remaining in the first half. Noah's second free throw attempt is good. And Cherry leads 36-21 here, 17-30 remaining. Go 
inside. Superior swinging the ball around, finds Anderson. Deep three, no good. Noah Sundquist comes up with the rebound on the attempt. That attempt was going to be by Sanagar. Isaac Asima now with the ball. Isaac will find Isaiah. Isaiah out to Carson. Isaiah swings it out to Noah Sundquist. Cherry looks like they're trying to get the ball inside, but they'll find Isaac Asma by himself in the corner for three. No good. Sanagar with the rebound. Sanagar looking to push. Sanagar with a nice step through. Gets it lay in for his first points of the night. Superior now down 36-23 to the Cherry Tigers. That looked like Isaac didn't know what to do with all the extra room he had. Good rebound by Noah Osma. Noah finds Carson Brown. Carson Brown to Noah Sundquist. Nice rebound by Isaiah Osma, but he's going to fall out of bounds with the ball, so it's going to be superior ball here on Cherry's baseline. 16-24 remaining. Cherry with a 36-23 lead over the superior Spartans. Sanagar now going against Carson Brown. He's going to go inside, try to put it up, but he's, they're going to call Carson Brown on the foul. They're going to say Carson Brown reached over instead of just going straight up and down. So 16-02, Sanagar on the line shooting two. That's Carson's second team's first. So Sanagar on the line shooting two. First free throw, too strong, back of the rim, no good. Second free throw attempt from Sanagar rattles in. 36-24. Oh. They're gonna extend their 1-2-2 two, two here, full court. Cherry breaks it fairly simply. Nice job getting inside. Now Isaac Osma with a tough contested two gets that to fall. Isaac with 15 on the night and Cherry back up to a 14 point lead, 38-24, 15-35 remaining. Nice movement by Superior. Leads to a backdoor cut and a two point. 38 26 here. Cherry's going to swing the ball around the perimeter. Try to get it inside. They'll get it back inside to Isaac. Isaac with the footwork. Tries to lay it in. No good. What should have been called a travel isn't a travel as number five falls to the floor with the ball in his hands, but he's not going to call it. Sanagar with the ball, now guarded by number 10, Isaiah. He'll swing it out to 15, guarded by Noah Sundquist. Good job by the Cherry Tigers and stifling defense as number two goes up for it. And they're going to call Sanagar on the foul. Noah Sundquist looked like he was going up for the dunk. They're going to call it on Sanagar, putting Noah Sundquist on the line, shooting two. 14.40 remaining. Sanagar, that's going to be his second team second of the half. Sonny's first free throw is good. Sonny's been an exceptional free throw shooter this year. Second free throw is up and in and out. No good. Rebound goes to number 24, Kelvin Anderson for Superior. He'll give it up to Sanagar. 39-26, Cherry leads, 14-30 remaining. Sanagar tries the hard drive, not going to bite. Give it up to Eisel. Eisel guarded by Noah Asima. And they're going to say Eisel traveled with that good pressure by Noah Asima. And Eisel dragged his pivot foot. So it'll be a turnover by the Spartans' Cherry ball.
Good ball movement by the Tigers. Ball got poked away. Isaac Osma loses the handle on it. Saniger comes up with it, so it's a turnover for the Tigers. Spartan ball, 14 minutes remaining. Cherry leads 39-26. That foul is going to be on number five, Noah Osama. That's his third team's second on another soft foul call here by that same referee. 13.52 remaining. And that puts Aker on the line with an and one opportunity. He puts the free throw up, that's no good. Coach Christensen wants a timeout. Yikes. Well, there's not much to say. Packed house here at the John and Lynette Zubis Gymnasium in Cherry. Superior fans did travel well. Good student section tonight for Cherry. And we'll see what Coach Christensen's got in store for the team outside of this timeout. Cherry with the 11 point lead. At one point it was up to 16. Spartans battling back. Spartans come out of that timeout in an extended 1-2-2 defense. And Cherry breaks it fairly easily. Carson Brown with the ball. He's going to get it poked out, but they're going to call a foul on number two. Sanigar, that's going to be his third as he's picked up two pretty quick fouls here in the second half. And checking in for him will be number 15 for Superior. That's going to be Kyle Johnson checking in for Sanagar. That was Sanagar's third, team's third. Noah Sunquist with the ball, gets it into Isaac. Isaac out to Sonny, Sonny out to Carson Brown. Carson inside to Isaac. Isaac, nice, with a little teardrop floater once again. Isaac Osmo's awesome done a good job of getting to that little four to six foot range and dropping that floater in over the zone. 41-28, Cherry leads, 13.07 remaining. Good defense by the Tigers leads to a miss by number three for the Spartans. Carson Brown with the rebound. He gives it up to Noah Sundquist. Noah with the athletic. Shot attempt, no good. Rebound goes to Aker, number 23. Well, the ball finds Anderson. Anderson back out to Aker, guarded by Noah Sundquist. He'll try to go inside. He'll weave his way through a bunch of Tigers and a nice finish. Shot attempt by Isaac Osma off the mark. Rebound Kelvin Anderson. 41 to 30 here, 11 point lead with 12-18 remaining. Kyle Johnson for three. He's gonna get the shooter's roll as it drops in. And it's an eight point lead now for the Cherry Tigers after being up 16. Noah Sundquist on a pass from Carson Brown. That shot's too strong, no good. Rebound goes to Kyle Johnson. Gives it up to Kelvin Anderson. Spartans looking to continue their run and close the gap here on Cherry. Foul 
foul on the play. That foul on the floor is going to be on Noah Sundquist. That's his second team third. Having a seat is going to be Noah Osman, Carson Brown. Checking in will be Andrew Staples and Landon Rutzelainen. Kyle Johnson with the ball guard. Started by Isaiah Asima. No good. That would swing it out to number three here for the Spartans. Now Aker with the ball. He's going to try to go around Sunquist. Not going to happen. Tries to get the pump fake. That ball gets punched and deflected. Nice defense by Cherry. Leads to a shot clock violation there as Cherry comes up with it. Now Cherry inside to Andrew Staples. Andrew to Isaac. Isaac to the freshman, Isaiah. Isaiah goes around the outside. He'll find his cousin, though. Isaac on the nice turnaround. No good on that. That ball was half down and popped out. Spartans come up with the ball. Spartans right now with all the momentum here at the Lynette and John Zupitz Gymnasium in Cherry, Minnesota. After having been down by as many as 16, they find themselves cutting the deficit in half. 41-33, Cherry lead. 10-28 remaining. Eisel with the ball. He goes inside, and they're going to call a foul on the play. That's going to be a charge foul on Eisel, the sophomore number five for Superior. Isaac Asima draws that. Superior coach is incensed with the call. 10-24 remaining. Cherry ball off the charge. Superior coach wants a timeout. Going to take a full one. Yeah, Cherry jumped out to the early 16 point lead here in the second half, and Superior Sensen has been whittling it away, outscoring the Tigers by eight points since they had that lead. Cherry hasn't been able to get some shots to fall, and there hasn't been a lot of second chance opportunities for Cherry like there was in the first half. And Superior's taking advantage on their end of the floor. Out of the timeout, Noah Sunquist, Isaac Osma, Isaiah Osma, Landon Ruthland, and Andrew Staples still on the floor for the Cherry Tigers. Kelvin Anderson, Kyle Johnson checking back in will be Sanagar, Eisel, and Aker here for Superior. Cherry breaks the 1 2 2 fairly quickly. They'll get it inside. Now Andrew Staples with the ball at the top. Get it out to Isaac. Isaac thought about a deep three, not going to do it. Gives it out to Landon Rutzlin, and Landon not going to take that three. And a good defensive possession here by the Superior Spartans leads to a shot clock violation, and uh, not a shot clock violation, excuse me, a backcourt violation here by the Cherry Tigers. Nine fifty remaining in the second half. Cherry with the eight point lead after being up by as much as 16. Now Aker with the ball guarded by Noah Sunquest. He'll give it up to Eisel. Eisel looking for Anderson. Sanagar off the screen. They're gonna call a foul on the play as Sanagar with a hard take by the senior. That foul is gonna be on Landon Rutzelein and that's his first. Teams fourth. Both teams knotted up at four fouls apiece here. Putting the senior Sanagar on the line for an and one opportunity and a chance to cut the lead to five. And he does. 
Five point lead now for the Cherry Tigers, 41-36. Good ball movement by Cherry Landon. Roots landing now with a three-point attempt. No good. They're going to call a foul on the floor. That foul is going to be on Andrew Staples. Loose ball foul on Andrew. Coach Christensen is going to have his starters check back in. Having a seat will be Landon and Andrew. Checking in will be Noah Osama and Carson Brown. That's Andrew's second team's fifth here. 9.26 remaining. Tigers nursing a five-point lead. Now Aker with the ball guarded by Noah Asima. Back out to Eisel. Eisel with the hard take on that. That ball gets blocked at the rim by Noah Asima. Carson Brown. They'll find Isaiah. Isaiah guarded by Sanagar. Sanagar tried to poke it away. Not going to happen. They'll find the freshman. Isaac with the long pass to Carson Brown. Carson Brown with a much needed corner three. Carson had a rough shooting night versus Holy Family, but he's coming back strong tonight. Two really important threes as he's got eight on the night. Now Kyle Johnson with the ball, gives it up to Eisel. Eisel back to Aker, Aker now to Sanagar. On the freshman. Wow. Wow. Cherry was on their way to a fast break when that referee finally decided to call the foul. This has been a clinic in terrible officiating. A clinic in terrible officiating for the night. Sanagar hits the first. Wow. That was the freshman's third, team sixth. Senegar misses the second. Noah Osma with the rebound. Cherry with a 44-37 lead. Isaiah swings it out to Carson. Carson to Isaac. Isaac back to Isaiah. Isaiah on the take. They're going to say he traveled with it. So it'll be a turnover on Cherry. And Isaiah looked like he did drag his back foot on that one. So 8-14 remaining, Cherry leads 44-37. Samagar now with the ball for Superior. Yeah, they're gonna call an offensive foul on the play. That foul's gonna be on Aker for using his elbow there. Good job by Carson Brown drawing that. 7.56 for Aker. That's his third team's fifth. 7.56 remaining. Cherry leads 44-37. Noah Osama now found all by himself. He tries the three. Too strong. No good. Rebound to Kelvin Anderson. Anderson will hand the ball off to Sanagar. Sanagar back to Anderson. Superior in no hurry. Good defense by Noah Asama. Noah hits it to Noah Sunquist. Noah Sunquist tried to put it down, but it was in and out. Rebound to Kelvin Anderson. Now Sanagar tries to go, and they're going to call another foul on the play. They're going to call that on Isaac Asima. That's Isaac's first teams. No, they're calling that on Isaiah Asima. Wow. Okay. So that's Isaiah's fourth foul, team seventh. Be on the line shooting 101. First one is good. 44 38, 7 12 remaining. Superior now in the bonus. Coach Christensen's going to leave Isaiah in with four. No, nope, they gave it back to Isaac Asima. So Isaiah's got three fouls. Isaac with his first there. 44-38. It's a six-point lead. 
Now well, Isaac inside. He's going to go up and over. No good. Rebound goes to Noah Sundquist. Noah goes up. Can't get his own miss. Now Superior with the ball. Sanagar bringing it up. The floor, 644 remaining. Three point is good. 44 41. Superior with all the momentum. Coach Christensen wants a timeout. Superior's done a fantastic job of fighting back since being down by 16, outscoring Cherry by 13 here early in the second half. Terry's offense is run dry here in the second half. 44-41. Good defense by the Superior Spartans has got Cherry on the ropes here. Cherry nursing a three-point lead with 6.25 remaining. Carson thought about the deep three, not going to do it. He'll find Isaac. Isaac inside to Isaiah. Isaiah out to his cousin Isaac. Nice job by Isaac Osma to find Noah Sundquist. <laughs> Cherry extends the lead to 5, 46-41 with 5.52 remaining. Kelvin Anderson with the ball guarded by Isaac Osma. We'll give it up to Eisel. Wow. 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 At some point, there's just not enough that a person can actually say. Instead of letting the players fight for position, which both of them were doing, both of the players committed a foul, he chooses to call the foul on Carson Brown, putting Sanagar on the line, shooting 101. That's Carson's third, team's eighth. Good night. Oh my goodness. First free throw is good. Second free throw from Senegar, also good. 46-43, 5.40 remaining here in the second half. Carson Brown with the catch and shoot, no good. Rebound goes to Aker. Aker gets it back out to Eisel. Coach Christensen yelling at his kids to get back. 46-43 here with 5.15 remaining. Jim starting to get loud here at Cherry, Minnesota. Senegar tries the three, no good, too strong. Rebound goes to the Spartans now, 24. Anderson with the three-point attempt. That's also no good. Carson Brown comes up the rebound, pushing, gets it up to number 10. The freshman, Isaiah Osma, who lays it in for two. Back up to a five-point lead. We got a good one here for the last four and a half minutes in Cherry, Minnesota at the John and Lynette Zupitz Gymnasium. Cherry leads 48-43 over Superior, Wisconsin. Sanagar guarded by Carson. Brown 
Sanagar on the drive, gets right past him, gets it to fall in. Good hard take by the superior senior. Calls for a timeout. That timeout called by Superior. They've only got two left. 418 remaining. Cherry with the 48 to 45 three point lead. timeout Spartans come back out in a 1-2-2 two, two. Cherry inbounding the ball in the Spartans baseline Carson Brown inbounding to Isaac Osama Sunquist, but that's going to go off the hands of Isaac Asima. Turnover on Cherry, Spartan ball. Heisel with the ball now guarded by Noah Asima. Senegar going hard to the bucket. That ball gets. Nice block by Cherry on the wild take by Sanagar. Isaac Osman now with it. Cherry looks a little hesitant to try to get it inside here. Noah Sunquist with the ball. He'll swing it out to Noah Osama. Noah with the bad pass gets picked off by Sanagar. Nice hustle play by Noah Sunquist and Carson Brown, but that ball gets deflected right to Kelvin Anderson as now it's a one-point game. 48-47, three minutes remaining. And they'll call a foul on that as both players were going for it, but number 24 caught too much of the body. Kelvin Anderson did. That's Kelvin's fourth team, sixth. 2.55 remaining, Cherry Nursing a one-point lead. That was a tough call too. That foul could have probably gone either way. Carson Brown with the ball. Swings it out to Isaiah Asma. Isaiah has thought about it. Swings it back out to Carson. Carson out to Isaac. They left Isaac wide open. Isaac for three. That's good. Isaac doing what Big Ten players do. 51-47 as the senior gives the Tigers a little bit of breathing room. Now Sanagar going, trying to go hard on the drive. Looks like he dragged his back foot. Not going to get the call. Rebound for the Tigers. Nice job by Noah Asima saving it. Isaac back up to number 10, Isaiah. Fantastic athletic block by Sanagar on the freshman. 51-47, two minutes remaining. That was a fantastic block by number two, Trey Sanagar for Superior. Now Eisel with the turnaround, no good. Isaac Osma with the rebound. Good defense by the Spartans there as Cherry couldn't get anything going on that. 
Spartans coach wants to use one of his last remaining two timeouts. Cherry here with a 51-47 lead. Yikes. That'll be a full timeout for the Spartans. They've got one timeout left. Cherry with the four point lead, 51 47. Leading scores for Cherry tonight Carson Brown with eight, Isaiah Asma with eight, Noah Asma with three, Isaac Asma with 20, and Noah Sunquist with 12. Been a low scoring game here for the Cherry Tigers, having coming in averaging, gotta believe, over 90 points a game. Superior Spartans have put up a really tough fight with a lot of time to go yet. Minute 16 remaining here at the John and Lynette Zupitz Gymnasium in Cherry, Minnesota, with the number one ranked single A Tigers nursing a four point lead against the Division I in Wisconsin Superior Spartans. Sanagar with the ball guarded by Isaiah Asima. They'll get it inside to Anderson. Anderson using his shoulder. He's going to get blocked by Noah Sunquist. Great job by the Tigers. Now Noah Sunquist up and in. Sanagar tried to draw the charge. Noah Sunquist with a fantastic body control to go around Sanagar in the air. Now Sanagar on the drive. They're going to get called for the reach and foul are the Tigers. Another terrible call. That's Isaac Asima's second, team's ninth. At some point, you actually have to wonder if these teams are playing too fast for the officials to actually keep up. 48.3 seconds, Sanagar with the shot. That's going to be good. Tigers lead 53-48 with 48 seconds remaining. Sanagar on the line shooting the last of two. Sanagar's shot attempt is up. That's also going to rattle in. 53-49. That ball gets poked away by Sanagar. Now Sanagar going full court. That ball gets laid in by Eisel. 53-51, Coach Christensen calls for a timeout. 34 seconds remaining. Cherry getting all they can handle tonight from the Superior Spartans. Both teams with one timeout, foul count right now. Superior Spartans with six, Cherry Tigers with nine. Kelvin Anderson. He's got eight points for Superior. Aker with 15, Sanagar with 14, and all 14 coming here in the second half. Another foul not called. And there they're going to call a foul. As it's not as if the Superior Spartan players meant to bowl over Carson Brown. Their momentum just took them that way. Nothing was intentional. So it's just a common foul, but that's going to put Carson on the line shooting 101. That foul's on Eisel, his second team, seventh. 
23 seconds remaining. Cherry leads 53-51. Carson Brown on the line shooting with one and one opportunity. Carson's first free throw attempt in and out. No good. Rebound goes to Kelvin Anderson who finds Sanagar. Superior looks like they're going to play for the last shot. And they're going to call a charge on the play. What a fantastic job by Isaac Asima, understanding that Sanagar has been going to the rim with his head down for the whole second half. Isaac steps up and takes the charge. Turnover, Spartans, cherry ball. Four seconds remaining. Cherry leads 53-51. Isaac Asima. Setting the standard, taking the charge, putting his body on the line. That was Sanagar's fourth foul of the night. Four seconds remaining. No matter what happens tonight, Superior's got to be proud of their effort after getting down by 16 early in the second half. They've battled back and it's a two-point game. It's been as little as a one-point game. So here we go. Cherry looks to inbound. Turnover. And that's going to be it as Cherry Tigers survive the Superior Spartans. Probably worth noting that Superior Spartans are Division I in the WIAA in Wisconsin, which is the highest division of basketball, as the Cherry Tigers beat the Superior Spartans in Cherry 53-51. Tough fought game. Hats off to the Superior Spartans. Thank you very much for Superior for making the drive up here to play Cherry. We hope everyone has a safe drive home. For those of you who have been at home watching, we'd like to thank you. Please hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, head over and hit that subscribe button as well. Isaac Osma in the last three minutes just took over and said that they were not going to lose that game. Made all the hustle plays, put his body on the line, hit a big three, made some tough rebounds. And at the end of the night, Cherry's able to walk away with a two-point victory to maintain their undefeated season at 6-0. Well, for Cherry Tiger Boys basketball at the John and Lynette Zupitz Gymnasium in Cherry, Minnesota, this is Robert Pearson for Cherry Boys High School Basketball. We hopefully will look to see you guys on Monday night as Cherry...